High school senior Jay Bryant has been released from the hospital after suffering serious injuries in that Dinwiddie classroom fire. Bryant had been in the hospital for a little more than two weeks fighting through injuries, but questions still remain about the investigation into what happened. 8 News reporter Devon Reynolds has more details about this situation. He's live in Dinwiddie for us tonight. Devon. Well, Eric, I'm here at the Dinwiddie County School Board, and listen, I spoke to the father earlier, and he was just rejoicing at the fact that his son was able to make his way home from the hospital. Glad to have him home. Chris Bryan is grateful. His son released from the hospital after two weeks of fighting through injuries. Jay's still pretty worried about um, being back in school, PTSD, with the anxiety of, the, of, the, of what happened. For the last couple weeks, Brian had the most serious injuries of the people involved, and now he's out. So what's next? 8 News has reached out to the chemistry teacher, the school, and authorities, all of which haven't responded. But we do know there has been controversy around that fire on October 12th. Several of the details authorities provided about what happened in the chemistry classroom leading up to the fire contradicted recommendations published by the U.S. Chemical Safety and Hazard Investigation Board. Dinwiddie County Fire and EMS Chief Dennis Hale saying, quote, the demonstration had been conducted once, and the teacher was in the process of adding additional methanol from an open, narrow neck one gallon container. However, the Chemical Safety and Hazard Investigation Board recommended against the use of bulk containers of flammable chemicals in educational demonstrations when small quantities are sufficient. Now, in addition, the Chemical Safety and Hazard Investigation Board's recommendation stated that a safety barrier should be provided between the demonstration and the audience. But Hale noted then that the teacher was performing the demonstration at an open top desk at the front of the second floor of the classroom. Brian is hopeful to have Jay finish the school year. If nothing else, maybe get some virtual stuff going so Jay doesn't get too far behind since he's a senior. So. Now, 8 News is still working to get any answers on if there will be any legal ramifications around this incident. I've reached out to the Commonwealth's attorney and have not gotten a response. Live in Dinwiddie, DeMond Reynolds, 8 News.